It was the second week of March that things really started to change in this country. Sports seasons started to go on hiatus, schools started to prepare to teach remotely, and the work life changed for millions of Americans. Family dynamics did as well. On a recent trip to Hart Park, Fox 6 chief photojournalist Andy Conkel and I discovered the pandemic has brought some families closer together while forcing others to be physically apart. This pandemic has its own brand of quiet. Fewer words spoken, people out, but still in their own muted bubbles. Oh, yeah. Oh, good job. So it's not hard to hear the joy. Ooh, good throw. That comes from just not being cooped up. For the Lamakia family of Wauwatosa, the stay-at-home order has actually led to quality time. Dad Ben travels a lot for work, and with that on the back burner, he's cherished the time to bond with his boy. Yes. Did I get closer? The bocce balls aren't the only things getting closer these days. Most every Saturday afternoon, the sleepiness of Hart Park awakens very quickly with a sound that cannot be anything but the bagpipe. In Scottish music, you got a lot of three notes tied together where the first notes lengthen and the second shots go dan, 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 dan. And that gives it that sort of aggressive feel. Unless you're really bad at placing accents, you can tell Dave Pollock is a Scotsman, playing an instrument as Scottish as haggis and whiskey. He is not just far from his native home. Bagpipes, as we know today, is it's an instrument of war. He's fighting a battle that has him out of his American house as well. It's hard, yes, but you know, sometimes I think you have to you have to do what you have to do, and that's uh, you know, it's for the for the greater good of um, of our health. By our, he means him, his wife now. Kathleen. His new looks better, doesn't it? And their daughter Rachel. Well, I was born with a heart condition, and uh, when I'm stressed, it's, it gets worse. And we were really concerned that I'd be at risk and that I wouldn't do well if I, if I got COVID-19. Into the Johnny Blue, I like that one. With yeah. both Kathleen, a school social worker, and Dave, okay. a Generac employee, facing health issues, they made the difficult decision to live apart to make sure at least one of them would be there for Rachel if things got really bad. Their house is a little too quiet without Dave around. So that's why he always lets me know when he's coming over. He, he texts me so I can come over. He's renting an Airbnb. She's at their Tosa home. Hey, Peter. And Dave hasn't hugged his daughter or kissed his wife since March 16th. I have a cooler for you, Dave. The closest they come to each other gonna, is a weekly exchange of groceries in a parking lot. And everything is sanitized. Supplies they could get anywhere. And a big thing of toothpaste. Well, man, I've got some for you. But Saturdays in the park with Dave provide something they both need. It's a couple of bottles of wine that have been sanitized. The connection that comes from sharing a life, even if it's temporarily I, shared yeah. at a distance. I feel proud. And I just, I find the music really soothing because it feels like home and what I'm the background noise of our life. <laughs> you know, married to the Scotsman, right? Yeah. The Scotsman draws a wee crowd, yes. It's not a sight one sees or a sound one hears often. The reason why I came here was to, to practice the bagpipes. Um, if other people derive pleasure from it, well, that's, that's, a, that's a bonus. It's more than a bonus for Kathleen and Rachel, for the sound of his bagpipe reaches where his arms, for now, Cannot. Woo! Peter! <laughs> it's a lovely sound, isn't it? Dave and Kathleen aren't sure how long they're going to have to keep living apart, but for now, it's their reality. If you want to catch Dave from a safe distance, he usually plays at Hart Park weekends afternoon. Trust me, you can find him. Shopping.